We're here at the U.S. Brazil BPO Summit, and we have David Tapper, Vice President of Outsourcing of IDC. How are you doing, David? All right, thank you. Uh, we enjoyed very much your speaking at the panel today, and we'd like to learn from you what do you think are the greatest challenges that Brazilian IT companies face going forward to become global? I think the biggest challenge is, number one, being aggressive as a Brazilian company or being aggressive as, uh, as Brazil as a country. Because you, you need to really assert yourself in a market, particularly a global market, particularly a market like the United States, which is intensely competitive. So that aggressiveness has got to come out in marketing. You've got to spend on marketing. You've got to drive the message of your capabilities. You've got to focus on specialized areas that you can bring out to the market. You've got to make strategic investments in the United States that can drive delivery, whether it's from application outsourcing, infrastructure outsourcing, or new cloud types of services, or R&D and engineering. But it all comes down to really being aggressive and driving that brand. Uh, we have been hearing a lot lately about onshore low-cost operations. How do you see that coming into play? I think you need local resources. I think that's part of the equation. You're going to have to have local investments, whether it's application development capabilities, all the way from the infrastructure delivery. But it is part of a total equation of having some local presence, be able to engage with the client, be able to deliver at the local level, but obviously bolster it by supporting you from an offshore set of capabilities. Well, other than India, who do you think that Brazil could benchmark from? I think when you look at benchmarking, I think the other countries you're benchmarking against are countries like Mexico, um, are countries like Singapore, are countries like even Malaysia. I mean, some of these are more nearshore countries, which is servicing the local countries. Some of them are what we call offshore, and India is probably the best example of offshore, where it's servicing many, many countries. Uh, if you go to Europe, I think you have the Czech Republic. I think you start to see Poland and Hungary also into that equation. Okay, and to finalize, David, if you were to ask, give me a silver bullet, which silver bullet would you give? The silver bullet is brand. The one thing we heard from many customers is you can have a lot of talent and a lot of capabilities, and you can do a lot of good investments. But if you don't have the brand and you don't bring awareness to customers and you don't bring awareness to the target market, you will be like a lot of great players. You'll be great, but you just won't be known the way you want to be known. Thank you very much, David. Thank you.